That looks like a good idea to me. How are you? We're inside now for a little tasting. Kathy. Yes. Tell me a little bit about the distillery here. The distillery is actually named after the actual notch. We have Smuggler's Notch, Route 108, and that was a an old smuggler's route where they used to take and smuggle alcohol from Canada into the United States. And the smugglers used to actually use the notch with the caves and the densely forested area to actually smuggle their liquor into this country. And that's what the distillery is named after. It's a father and son partnership, so it's a small family owned and operated business. Been open since late 2010. 10, early 2011. Started out with our vodka, which started winning awards right out of the shoot. Gonna try some? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot one. This is winter wheat and corn, so you get a little sweetness from the corn, a little sharpness from the winter wheat. Clean, clear, crisp, and smooth. Tastes like more. Besides being number one rated domestic vodka, this actually won a double gold at the San Francisco International Spirits Competition. There were over 300 international vodkas and 33 judges. All of the judges are voting independently and blind. In order to get a double gold, every single one of the 33 had to independently vote gold, and they did. All 33. It's pretty impressive. Impressed. Let's move on to our newest product, which is our gin. This gin just came out this summer. This is our own special blend. This is actually labeled Blend 802. That's because uh, Jeremy, our master distiller, came up with the three blends that he thought were the best, and he put them to a vote here in the tasting room last spring. Honors from all over the state came in and voted. This is the blend that won. So this is truly the Vermont voted blend. So he labeled it 802. That's smoother than the hillside up there. Really good. This is our uh, single barrel aged amber rum. It came out last March. We do single barrel bottlings, and what that means is we don't blend our bottle barrels to get a certain flavor. Each barrel has a certain kind of distinct flavor all its own. It happens to be barrel seven that you're trying right now. It was aged for three years in white oak barrels that were brand new, but they were charred on the inside. So you get some smoky flavor and color from the charred barrels. Add caramel coloring or flavoring, natural just from the aging process. It's definitely rum. It's blackstrap molasses space, but it has a little bit of a bourbon personality. The first sip is going to have a lot of that bourbon flavor. The bourbon flavor is really in there. Yep, just from aging in bourbon barrel. It's a four-year-old um, Jim Bean barrel. But see, now it should be getting a little sweeter as you're going along. Subsequent sips are going to have a little bit more of that rum profile. Picking up my profile. So, if you're at Smuggler's Notch, don't be afraid to stop at the distillery here. I can't believe I managed to say that after a few shots.